Hey, what's up? I'm Matt from Mount Forge, and I'm here to talk to you about Montana. On one summer day in Montana last year, I ate breakfast in a sweatshirt, lunch in a ski jacket, and dinner in a t-shirt. With this much parity, it begs the question, what am I supposed to pack when I travel to Montana? The short answer is everything. But you came here for the long answer. Since we started renting our 63 acre property on Airbnb, we fielded lots of questions from our guests traveling to our cabin about what they should bring on their trip. After taking dozens of trips to Montana myself, I've started to get it figured out. A lot of what you'll need to bring depends on what time of year you plan on traveling. On another video, I talk about the best times to visit Montana. Since I like to do just about everything, I tend to pack for any situation. No matter what time of year you're visiting, you're gonna wanna have layers. It's common for a sunny spring day in the high 60s to be comfortable outside in a t-shirt, but as soon as the clouds roll in, you'll wanna put on a hoodie right away. You would think snowshoeing or skiing on a brutally cold day would call for a ski jacket, but before too long, you'll be wanting to ditch it because you've worked up a sweat. Generally speaking, pack the things that you would normally pack going on a long vacation. When it comes to Montana though, I always make sure to pack the following things regardless of the season. T-shirts, long and short sleeve, sweatshirts and hoodies, water resistant outer layers, such as a raincoat, a bathing suit, that's for the lake in the summertime or the hot springs in the winter, gloves, extra changes of socks, long johns or thermals, hats and beanies, you never know which will be useful, a winter jacket, you usually won't need this in summer unless you're hiking to a higher elevation, wool socks, you'll need it just like a winter jacket, and lastly, tennis shoes or sneakers, those are important for most activities. A lot of people travel to Montana for the epic hiking, and if you're anything like me who grew up in the tiny hills of Pennsylvania, you're gonna dramatically underestimate the size of those massive Montana mountains before you go out there. Here are some very important things to take if hiking is on your itinerary. Hiking boots. A good pair of boots will be your best friend at Glacier National Park. A backpack can make or break your hike. Make sure to get a comfortable one. Insect repellent, first aid kit, reusable water bottles, and a life straw or something similar to treat the water, and bear spray. I cannot overstate the importance of being bear aware when you're in the Montana wilderness. If you plan on spending some time out on Flathead Lake or any other of Montana's 3,000 plus lakes, here's some essentials you're gonna wanna bring with you. Sunglasses to protect your eyes and most importantly to look cool out on that pontoon. Sunblock, but also SPF chapstick is super underrated. This is vital for those summer hikes too. And a long sleeve shirt that breathes well just in case you're out in the sun for too long. And I also can't forget to mention, there are a few more essential items to carry around Montana that have become useful to us. A portable phone charger, long days in the car, or out in the woods tend to leave you with a dead battery. Cash, because you'll want to stop and pick up some huckleberries or flathead lake cherries from one of the stands on the side of the road. Not to mention there's a lot of old mom and pop businesses that really only take cash. A map of the area, or download a region on Google Maps. Service can tend to be spotty and you'll lose service frequently. If you're going on a hike, make sure to download the trail on All Trails app before you go. The weather in Montana can change quickly, so no matter where you go or what time of year, you might find yourself in a situation where you wish you packed more or less than you ended up bringing with you. So in closing, the golden rule is to be prepared for anything. Montana is an incredible place, and the fact that you never know what to expect is what makes it so special. If you're looking for a place to stay during your trip to Montana, check out our Airbnb in Polson. It sits on 63 acres, just 10 minutes from Flathead Lake. You can have all the space you need for your perfect getaway, but also have all of Montana right at your fingertips. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit that subscribe button for more Western Montana travel tips and amazing things to do. I'm Matt from Mount Forge, peace.